Let's do it, do it. I think we're live. I think we're live. I think we're live, live, live. Good morning, Deanna and Misty and Yvette. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you're all feeling jolly and happy today. You could do commercials with that voice. Thank you very much. You, you I hope you're all feeling oh. jolly and happy today. You can do commercials. One of us isn't muted. Thank you very much. I tried to mute it. It's me this time. What? It was you? It automatically, usually automatically mutes me, and it didn't. So it was, I me. it was me. It was me this time, man. I'm sorry. Because I wasn't muted either. Oh, it was both of us, I guess. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Oh, my goodness. Is that what I sound like? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think I also, yeah, I also stopped my video because I'm a dork. Nice. Okay. So Amy and I are making some, some kind of shabby chic things. Well, Amy I mean, is doing clothespins and I'm sure they'll be gorgeous. Well, they'll be shabby. Thank you, Diana. And... Hi, Leah. And I'm going to be altering a box. And I painted some metal bits. I left my bees. I may still paint the bees. Oh, that was my cat. I don't know if you heard her. I heard something. She went. <laughs> I think she sounds like Squidward on SpongeBob. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, anyway, I'm altering a box, which I have right here, and I'm going to be using some of this beautiful Stamperia paper called House of Roses. I love that paper pad, but I guess that goes without saying. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's very shabby and very pretty, pretty. So that's what I'm going to be doing. What kind of paper are you using, Miss Amy? I am digging into my, wait a minute, wait a minute, I got everything a mess over here. My scrap bin. The scrap bin. The scraps. There's two the scraps on top. I'm using those first. Nice. Okay, I got some paper out already. I think I'm going to use this beautiful clock piece for the top. Ooh, my gosh, that's gorgeous. That fits on the box. That's amazing. No, I got to cut it, but it's uh, it almost fits on the box. But I think I'm going to do it like that. That is a beautiful clock piece. It really, really is. I love this paper. So this is how I measure, make folds. I'm more precise if I'm sewing something. I think this is lemon craft, lemon craft paper um, wrap. I love lemon craft paper. Me too, man. Yeah. Me too. So. And then I'll probably Mod Podge the stamp. Mod Podge! Yeah, that's what I probably do. Where did you get that gorgeous paper, by the way? Um, BlueMoonScrapbooking.com. There you go. But also, Simon says stamps.com has some Stamperia paper as well. And I also know that a cherry on top has Stamperia paper. Hi, BD. And I've forgotten your name, and I'm so, so sorry. I'm terrible with names. I'm terrible with names. I'm also trying to make this a blog post, so I have to pause and take pictures. <laughs> Double whamming it. Brian, that's right. Multitasking, man. Multi 
just stuck I was going to say Brian, and then I was like, well, what if it's not Brian? <laughs> oh, no, Misty. What happened? She's making a list of the beads she needs because she's going to have to rob a bank because she's super low. Yeah. I'm sure every crafter's considered the bank robbing route. Right. I'm using my Helmar craft glue because this is going to be a blog post for Helmar. Nice. You know. Look at how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Like, seriously, I'm in love with that. It's a little wonky, but that's okay. We're going to put lace around it so you won't see it. You won't see my wonkiness. Oh, we'll see your wonkiness. Yeah, you will. We just got started. I could also roll this up like that and put some lace here. <laughs> Thanks, Deanna. <laughs> Uh, Deanna's looking out for us. Yes, YouTube algorithms. You know, they might go, oh, those people are robbing a bank when we're not. Wow, I really cut that crooked. Shocker. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to turn that up. Hi, bro. That will be very pretty. And I got this one for the side. Look at this, Amy. That is beautiful. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I mean, the other sides are just as beautiful, but it just the pattern won't fit. But look at these gorgeous flowers here. I just love these roses. So pretty. Okay, so that'll do. If I have enough of this, this is... problem with this box is the front of the box is curved so it makes it hard to fit the paper around it I know I love that crackle on that paper so I think what we'll do is maybe just cut it straight Yeah, I thought I did a good job naming mine, too, because at the time, I was the only Amy Love, and it is my name. It's my first and middle name. But now, when you search Amy Love, there's, like, a lady who does yoga. Oops, I don't know, though. I could be wrong. Okay, so then here we need to... Let's flip it over, and I'll draw mine. I mean, for all I know, maybe that is their name too. Maybe they had a hippie mama also who named them Amy Love. I don't know. A hippie mama. Hippie mama. All right, let's try that. Oh, I did pretty good. Okay. Yay. 
Yay! Ha! That turned out pretty good. All right. We can just use this as a, a little guide for the other parts. A part guide, if you will. Mm. What's everybody up to today? I think I'm going to need three of these. So Misty's making a wish list. Ooh. Where's the best place to get a big gob of Mod Podge? Um, hmm, Scrapbook.com. Um, check Amazon. Yeah, I always buy mine at Hobby Lobby. Remember. Well, yes. I don't know. Are you are you in the U.S., Leah? We ain't got no Hobby Lobby here. <laughs> so sorry. I mean, is Hobby Lobby reopened? Yes, I can go in there. They have it set up really nice. You have to go in a certain way. They only let so many people in. You have to stay six feet apart, and you got to wear your mask in. But yes. Hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. How are you? So I can't really walk around and drink my Starbucks, which, which is what I normally would do. But at least I can go in and have a Starbucks after. And I'm okay with that. Oh, this is really on here tight. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. I need to get my lid off. All right, I have a question for anybody else who lives with bears. Who else lives with bears? Don't you have bears, Kim? Um, I'm in Canada, so yes. <laughs> okay, so like if you know that you got a bear that wants to hang around because he's eating your bird feeder and he comes by about every eight days, so he's like on a schedule. How do you feel about being outside when you know there's a bear that's coming onto your property. I wouldn't. Exactly. Like, I don't even want to be out there. <laughs> because like, you don't know where grumpy daddy is or if it's a baby where mama is. And you don't know. Yeah, Unless no, there's like a lot of space and I'm talking, you know, a long space and you're near an open door that you can get in quickly. I wouldn't do it. Well, okay, but I have to take care of my garden. Like, what am I supposed to do? Don't make any sudden movements. If you scream and run, that might scare them. I would just get up slowly and back away slowly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm not excited about uh, being outside right now. It sucks. Well, you know, they're they're hungry right now, and the berries are out, so... It's their feeding time right now. Yeah, they're coming for the bird feeder. It's a bummer. And I assume it's only one, but I don't know. I had a wild turkey in the yard this morning, which was funny because it's no longer turkey season. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband kept going out hunting for turkeys, and he couldn't find one, or he'd find one, and he couldn't catch up with it or whatever. And this morning there was just one. Just hanging out in the front yard. He was just taunting Chuck. Oh, funny. We had a moose the other day. That makes me happy when there's moose. But... I love moose eye. But I could do without the bear. I'm just saying. They're really cool to look at. But you don't want to make a lot of sudden movements. Because they can run, even though they're big and lumbering, they run pretty fast. Well, when he comes outside, he'll let me know if there's an animal coming. So yeah. that's a good thing. If he's out with me, then 
Yes. He, Chuck told me not to run. He yeah. said, you can, you know, back away slowly yeah. and they seem like they're getting aggressive. Then I have to make myself big and aggressive. Yeah. Like, can Put you your arms over your head and then you start screaming. But if they're not being aggressive, you just get up and make slow movements. I can't imagine me getting aggressive when there's a bear in my face. You'd be surprised what you can do if you're scared and True. a bear is coming at you. <laughs> you should probably, when you're gardening, have a whistle around your neck. They don't like that. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, who am I going to whistle to? I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just a bear whistle, they're called. Yeah, I'm figuring if if Ruger is outside with me, I'm pretty safe because he can, like, smell animals before they get right up in the yard. Right. So he lets me know, and he's barking, and that usually scares whatever off. Right. So yeah, I would get a bear whistle. Bear whistle. A lot of hunters have them. Chuck will know what they are. Uh, yeah, I keep thinking, what if he gets off his schedule and he pops by while Chuck's at work? I will freak out. Freak out. Well, just stay inside. <laughs> You'll hear him grunting and huffing and like that. You'll hear him coming. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we have them walking down the middle of the road and we've had them in our backyard and Yeah, I haven't yet seen one here. I've seen a lot of other wildlife, but I haven't seen a bear. But oh my gosh, I've seen tons of them. They're beautiful. I love them. I think they're amazing animals. Yeah, Chuck. But I don't want to tick them off. Well, yeah, no, that's me. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my box is not on the desk, but to hold this paper down and Mod Podge it, I have to kind of hold it. Like strangely, if that, makes any sense. if that makes any kind of sense. I'm not much of a pie baker, so we're safe there. Yep. Just don't leave your garbage out um, uncovered. And yeah, but the compost is out there. Will they eat yeah, the, the compost? Just keep it covered and it's not covered. It's like not you can't even cover it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I'll shoot then. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know what to say about that girl. I hope they don't eat my vegetables right out of my vegetable garden. I will not be happy about that. Um, I'm not sure if they'll do that. They might. I mean, I feel like the deer is going to be my biggest threat there. <gasps> mosquito! I kill you. Yay! One less mosquito in the world. Thank you. I kill you. I hate you. I hate mosquitoes. No, I hate Black flies. I find mosquitoes annoying, but black I didn't flies. Get I didn't get it. Come here, ma'am. Did I get you? No. You a slippery little devil. Right, Deanna, that's me. Like my husband would do that too. He'd go out into the woods. I'd be like, what? No. Oh, that's cute, Misty. I love bunnies. We have bunnies and deer mostly. Deer are the thing that we have the most of. They're in our yard every day. I love the deer. From the pile of moose poo we came across while we were snowshoeing, I think we have more moose than we have anything. You're still snowshoeing? 
Well, no, not now. <laughs> Snow has finally melted. <laughs> well, that's good. You northerners. Hmm. Okay. This is not an easy box to Mod Podge around. So you guys, I started my summer job and so I'm finding that I'm having a hard time keeping up with everything. Cause now, you know, there's those days now that I don't have to get things done. So I might not be going live on my channel cause I just don't Ever. have to ever well i mean maybe not until fall hmm. you know because i have to get all these design team projects done and i can't do design team projects on my lives so it's you know gotcha I gotta get my project done you know gotta get my videos edited and uploaded and all the things gotcha and that job is kicking my butt. I mean, I just wanted to sleep all day yesterday. Yeah, I was going to ask you how the first weekend went. It was rough, man. Was it better than last year? Well, it's better because I am not cleaning up the dirties. Oh, I'm dirty. a bed maker. So that I have to carry out the dirty linens and things but i don't have to scrub the toilets so yay you know right but it's still bending over mattresses and making beds i made 20 beds the first day my back hurt <laughs> oh yeah you know that's a lot of beds it's hard work but i like to get the paycheck well money you know money thing I might have put a little too much mod podge on here right now. But tomorrow I actually have an appointment, so I'm not going live because I have an appointment. But as tired as I've been, I can't imagine that I'm going to be able to get all my stuff done and go live. Well, some of them are low beds. Some of them are high beds. Some of them are bunk beds, and bunk beds are the worst. Yeah, bunk beds are hard. My kids had bunk beds. I hated making them. Yeah, and most of the rentals have at least one set of bunk beds, but most of them have more than one set of bunk beds, you know? Right. Boo. You know, I'm glad that I use such pretty paper because now I have all pretty scraps. There you go. There you go. What do you think about this new angle for my camera? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. You can see things, and you're you're nice and clear today. Yeah. Oh, I see you, mosquito, trying to get me. Evil, evil. Why are mosquitoes a thing? Well, I think because they feed the birds, and they feed a bunch of reptiles. A lot of things eat mosquitoes. Well, you know, there's lots of other things the birds and the reptiles can eat. <laughs> How do you really feel about it? I just don't think they need to be in existence, mosquitoes. They just have to be replaced with some other thing that we'd like less so there'd be enough food for the other things that eat bugs. Yes, like a pretty little bug that doesn't harm anyone or bite anyone or leave welts on their skin. How about that? That kind of thing. Thank you, Leah. 
Nobody can see what I'm doing. Nope, I see a pink box though. Yep. I'm just podging, trying to get the paper down. Podging. Podging. Okay. I love these big fat clothespins. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. It looks like. Okay. Ooh, pretty. So that's what I was doing. Oh. So I was podging that. Now we're going to podge this, this here, which you'll be able to see. Yeah, it sounds like she wants a shabby bug, Diana. Shabby bug. Yeah, it's a shabby bug. You can call it the shabby bug. And it can even be pink. And it'll just be pretty. It'll have little pretty eyelashes and little glittery back on it. It'll be pretty. And then it doesn't bite people. It just sits and looks pretty and gets eaten by birds and reptiles. Nice. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. How are you, hon? Thanks, Abril. So today is mine and my husband's 25th wedding anniversary. Bye, Yvette. Yes, happy, Bye, Yvette. happy anniversary to you and Dougal. Yes, we've been together for 30 years, but married 25. And we lived in sin for five years. That's okay. I was married for almost 28 years. That sounds ridiculous. I see you, Mosquito. Where are you coming in? It's ridiculous. Did I just see two mosquitoes? Oh my gosh, are you being invaded? I don't like it. It's freaking me out. At least it's not a bee. That's true. I would be coming unglued. Yes, I'm very happy with you and Dougal. Yeah, well, you know, 25 years. We're not doing too much because COVID. But. Uh, happy birthday to your mother, Angie. Yes, happy birthday. I know that clock is gorgeous. Yeah, I love this paper. It's so pretty. I've had this box for a while. I got this box a couple of years ago at a thrift store. And it's just been sitting in my craft room. And I was, every, you know, every once in a while, I'm like, I need to alter that. But it was waiting for this paper. Because, you know, the paper's wrinkling a bit. And I don't like that. Wrinkling paper. So I think me and Kim are going to have a sale soon. Yes, we are. Soon. Very soon. That needs to happen. And We've got, I've got some nice vintage things for people, you know, from my father-in-law's hoard <laughs> that we have. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. I guess we're going to have a sale at our regular times we would go live, right? Yeah, we could do that. Um, date to be announced. Maybe next week or the week after. <sighs> we'll have to see. I have to discuss the details with Amy. Let me look at a calendar real quick. Yeah, we'll look at that later. I'm going to look at it right now. Uh-oh. Okay. Because next week, 
will be the first week of July. What? You, on Tuesday will be the 30th, the last day of June. Yeah. So maybe we should plan it for the um, first full week in June, which would be the 7th and the 8th. Which sure. Is a good time to have a sale. So you want to do the two-day extravaganza again? Well, it seems to work out, yeah. What yeah, it worked out good last time. Yeah, I'm not sure why, Deanna. I don't know what is going on with that. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I don't know why that happened. <clears throat> it's the YouTube bot. Who knows? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, Deanna, thank you for leaving us comments on our Steampunk blog hub. Yes, girl. Do I get it? I got him. Finally. Oh, good. One less mosquito in the world. I still don't know if mine was really steampunk, but that's about as steampunk as I can do, man. Well, me neither. I don't know if mine wasn't really either. Mine was more shabby steampunk. I don't know. But it was pretty neat, so that's all that matters. I worked all weekend, so I haven't had a chance to even look at anybody's blog posts. There was a lot of people in that hop. Yeah, Not a lot of people. Pretty major. Some gorgeous project. Okay. Oh, it's almost dry. There's still a bit of uh, wrinkling happening, but that'll settle down eventually. There's a link to it somewhere, her bro. I don't know. On one of my pages or in the group or something. I don't know. Well, it's in one of our groups, the link. Or you could just go to mine or Amy's blog and you'll find the hop. Um, what's what's your blog address, Amy? Uh, I don't know, man. Mine is angeldreamcrafts.blogspot.ca. I don't even know. Amy, Amy loves place. No, that's Instagram. Oh, that's Instagram. Oh, I don't know. Don't listen to me. I think it's Amy Loves Designs. Oh, fancy. Blogspot. Dot. No, it's blog, blogger. Blogger, blogger. Blogger dot something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> blogger dot something. Right, the hat was cool. There was some cool stuff. I haven't seen them all yet, though. But... Oh, Deanna is get on the links because Misty's busy shopping for beads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Thanks, Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. You're a sweetheart. Oh, no, that's right, because Misty's not an admin for you, so she can't do it here. Ha! Huh. And that's why Deanna can't do it on mine. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. I'm catching on. There you go. <laughs> oh, funny. Think about those things. Mm -hmm. Wow, thimbles are cool. I love thimbles. I'm getting ready to make a thimble pit. A what? A what? A thimble pit. Didn't you see this this week's um, sewing challenge? No. A thimble what? It's a thimble pit. That's what she calls it. So I don't know if that's like an Australian thing or what. Thimble pit? Pip. Pip. P-I-P. -I, -P. I don't know what that means. Okay. I didn't either. But you know the little coin purses you can put in your purse and it, you, to open it, you just squeeze it and the little mouth opens? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. It's like that. It's kind of like that, but it's a different shape. And it's to keep thimbles in. But she, okay. 
loose one big enough where you could keep a spool of thread in it, which will come in. I'm going to put my thread in it when I do the stitch along to okay. keep my thread. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my bad, Misty. That's how much I pay attention. I forgot for a minute. Let's see. What do we got for stuff? Oh, man. It's starting to get hot up here. I'm going to have to track down a fan, I think. Is it getting hot? Mm -hmm. Is. It's getting hot, is it? I feel like I want that there. That's pretty. The prettiness. Yeah, we gotta lay some stuff out and see how we do. See how we do. Okay. Yep, just lay her out. If stuff will stay in one spot because my big fat fingers don't work. Look at what is happening. It's a mess. Oh my god. Okay. That's gonna go like that, but over here. That sounds good, Shannon. I wish I would have done that. Grabbed a coffee. Yeah. I was talking to Deanna this morning and I didn't understand some stuff she was saying. So I was like, dang, I need more coffee. You know to talk to people before you've had coffee. I know, but I did. No, the rule is I shouldn't post anything on Facebook before I've had coffee. You shouldn't reply to other people's posts. Well, that's true. But I did reply to one yesterday. But even after I said to you and Mary how good I'd been by not replying to certain people's posts. You just couldn't help yourself, could I you? Yeah, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Love of Pete. I know. It was bad. I'm sorry, man. A key ring from a key ring die, huh? Oh, my eye is so itchy right now. How do I want to lay this out? I don't know. I want this behind the angel's head. Because I think that would look phenomenal no, no. That's what I think. Phenomenal, is that what you mean? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. You gotta finish it, Kim. Do 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 do. No, we come on every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. Why is Grace stuff, why is it doing that? I don't know, but Deanna's got it. Thanks, Deanna. Has some bees. Got some stuff. I got some other stuff. I got pink butterflies. I got that. I think I need some lace. Just every week, once a week, every week on Tuesday. We were going every week here, Tuesday, and me, my channel on Wednesdays. But uh, during the summer, I'm not going to be able to keep up with that Wednesday schedule on the grid. Can I gather this all the way around? I don't know if I has enough. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. But I might do this down here. Find something else for the top. Okay. All right, let's move all this junk off of here. Now that I kind of have an idea. I got paint on it. Yay. Okay. Oh well, it don't matter. It's gonna get covered up anyway. That's all right. That's okay. 
We're still good. All right, that's okay. We're still good. We're still good. What about this here? To Battenberg. Uh, hey, I'm gonna be right back, okay? Okay, hon. Are you all right? My allergies, my eyes are swelling up really bad. I gotta put some eye drops in them right away. Oh my goodness, that is not good. I'm just looking for lace at the moment. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that either. That's really weird. YouTube is having a moment, maybe. I don't know. What do I have? I think we're going to get some rain any minute. Oh, I think that would be pretty. Okay, we're going to put some of this trim around the top of the box. If I put that there, can I still open the box? Yes. Okay. Let's start back here. Oh, I don't know what's up with YouTube lately, Grace. It's weird. Grace did a live on her Facebook group the other day that I was at. It was wonderful. Sorry about that. That's all right. You okay? Oh, no. The dog is barking. I got to let him back in now. You got to be <laughs> You're having issues, girl. So this box will probably be up for grabs at the sale. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? I love this trim. And this trim is in my Etsy. Well, which trim are you using? The Pearly Pearl Pearl. This one. Yes, I love that. It's so nice. Nice. I gotta order some glue sticks. My goodness, getting low. This is not get out of my way. I just pulled the flower right off of the darn stem. Yes, we do. We do love you, Grace. I don't know why YouTube's doing that. It's weird. I don't get it. It's annoying. Could there be something in the settings, I wonder? 
like in um, Grace's settings? I have no idea how that works. Let's cut that pearl off. I don't like it sticking out. That box is already so gorgeous. What are your box is gorgeous? It's pretty. Look at that pink, that pearl. I just love that trim. Pretty pretty. Except it's just a little crooked right there, and it's going to drive my OCD nuts. I love crooked. I don't like crooked. Uh oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. I dropped that on you. Sorry, kitty. All right. And I'm going to put some of this beautiful pink lace on the bottom that I got from Nola, which is Nanny's Attic on Facebook. Because it's going to work perfectly. We're going to do this, I think. What do you think about that, Amy? Oh, that's very nice. And then I've got a very small little pearl trim that I could put around the bottom. Or I could put it all the way around the top, which might actually look better. I don't know. Let's do this first. We do this first. Gonna use my little my little sticky down thing that Shannon gave me. Silicone thingy. Sticky down thing that Shannon gave. Me. This thing, it's silicone that I push my glue down with, like the she sent me a whole set of them. She's lovely that way. Yeah, Nola has some pretty stuff. I got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful package yesterday from uh, Kathy at Kathy's World and Friends. She had done a live sale and she had some absolutely gorgeous fabrics. Yay for gorgeous fabrics. Oh, they're so nice. And I might be sharing some of them with one of my besties, you know. I'm just going to assume that's me and be happy. It is. <laughs> Although if Mary wants some, I'll just put it in three. But Mary's going to say, I don't want any more stuff. Unless it's paper. She doesn't turn down paper, that one. She does not turn down paper, no. <laughs> She's got some paper issues, I think. That's okay. We still love her. See if Mary Mary can take the day off and come help us with our sale. Oh yes, I'm sure she wants to take a day off of her 60 hour work week to then work with us. I'm hey, sure. we're fun. We're we're she rainbows and sunshine. She loves us. She's probably already so excited. She's probably listening right now and rolling her eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, Angie. You go rest, hon. Well, there. We just bored Angie to sleep. Yeah. Put Angie to sleep, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. All right, I got to go to the lace drawer because I don't like the way this looks and it needs lace. That's what it's missing. Okie dokie. Lace it up. Laces or applique. Basic tip. So I did that. It looks very, very pretty. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this really tiny little trim on the top to cover up my funny edges here. That's what I think I'm going to do because I made a little mis paper mistake here. She parted too hard at Keisha's last night. <laughs> Well, 
Well, that's all right. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. That's what I'm saying. I got a fan blowing on me. Why were you up all night? Because I'm sure Keisha was on all night. Yeah, I can't do that. I am too old and too broken to be up all night. Those <laughs> days are behind me of my up all night partying. That's just no more. Can't do it. No more of that. Thank you. No, can't do it. You know, when I was younger, same with my hubby, we were able to do those things. But once you hit 50, you're like, yeah, I'm done with that. That was fun, but enough's enough. Well, you'll be hitting 50 soon. You'll see what I mean. It's already enough is enough for me. What are you talking about? Oh, all right then. Never mind. You're not up all night partying anymore, Amy? Is that what you're saying? No. I go to bed between 7.30 and 8 o'clock every night. I know you do. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, girl. But I am up at the crack of dawn having my coffee on the front porch while I listen to the birds sing and watch them come to the bird feeder. I love it. It's oh, like crack of dawn is happening over here. It's my favorite part of the day. No crack for me. No crack for me? No crack for me. No soup for you. No, no crack soup for me. I love it. My husband makes the coffee, which is awesome. And then I get up and I just make my cup and I go straight to the front porch swing. Well, it's good to enjoy it while you can because there'll be eight months of winter before you know it. June is already over. So weird. And by the time, two months, like July, August, then it's just winter, Doug said to me the other day. It's like once August hits, it's winter. And I'm like, don't say that. But yeah. Why are you saying that? And he's like, it's true, though. I'm like, no, August is still summer. Like, no, it's nearly winter then. Just, just accept it. And I'm like, no. I'm not a winter person. I live in the wrong country, I know, but. I love the winter, whatever. Ugh. Maybe because I grew up with it. I don't know. I've been I, here my whole life. It's, it's you? The, live in the best place for winter because I, the temperature in Missouri and in it, Georgia, because of the humidity, it feels colder. Right. Right. The humidity makes a huge difference. So I can go outside in 32 degrees weather here and wear nothing but a sweatshirt and be completely comfortable. My nose isn't hurting. My fingertips don't hurt. I mean, this is a beautiful place to be in the winter. And being outside in the winter is way better than being outside any other time because you're not going to get sweaty and there are no bugs. I'm sorry. It's amazing. No. I don't like the cold. I like fall. I want it to be autumn all year long. And I also enjoy the wood stove. I miss having a fire going. Yes, I like doing that too. That's why I like autumn because it's a little cool but not cold. And it's really pretty outside with all the beautiful colors. And it's not humid. It's the perfect, perfect season. Autumn. But it literally is only humid for maybe eight days out of the summer here. Maybe. Not here. Oh, sorry. And I would much rather be cold than be sweaty. Well, yeah, I'd rather be cool than sweaty, too, because you can't peel your skin off, but you can put layers on. I'm about this winter living. I'm about it. No, I, I don't want to live in the winter. I could do without winter. If California became part of Canada, I would move there. Uh -uh, no, no, hell no, no. I would move where it's 72 degrees all the time. No way. Yes. I love winter. And then I would just visit winter at Christmas and then leave. And like, That's enough winter for me, Christmas Day. 
Wow. Yeah, same in here too, Deanna. Deanna and I are on the same page with this, I think. Whatever. There are not, no people. I love the winter and I love the snow and I wish it was winter right now. I can't with you right now. I don't know what to say. I, just, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. I don't like um, it. Okay, so. No. I'm going to have to so click that down. Put that down. Put that down. I think I'm going to use these beautiful leaf appliques from your store. I love this leaf. I love the leaves. Oh, no, I wanted that one for the angels. So we'll put this one down. we we'll do that one. Okay. Yes to that. I love it. smaller. Oh yes, I like this much better. Much better. And another one. I absolutely adore pretty clothes pens. They're so cute. They just need to are pretty. I gotta get my doodle to pick me up some. I think I'm gonna put magnet on the back and use them for magnet. Yes. Oh, those are so nice. I wish I had some of those little roses. Yeah, like this is it, man. I'm using the last of them today. Yeah. Until Wild Market Crafts is delivering to U.S. This is all she wrote. I am just using some uh, chipboard here because my angel is going to hang over a bit. So it needs to be even with the frame. So it's not wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Yeah. That's what I, wibbly wobbly. Stay down. What? Stay down. Stay down. So I started watching a new show on Netflix last night called The Order. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's about magic and werewolves, and has anybody else seen it? It has two seasons so far. I have not seen it. I love it. I love anything that has to do with that kind of stuff anyway. Okay. That still might be a bit wibbly. Yeah, it needs another one under there. It needs another one. Can you believe it? You know how I've mentioned before how I read the first book of The Handmaid's Tale and how it just intrigued me so much because I thought, wow, 
really, the United States is not far from this kind of thing happening. Yeah. Okay. Well, the more, th <laughs> the whole thing with like the policemen giving up a section of the city because they're afraid to go in there and all the policemen that are crying. Yes, girl. Yes. I, Chuck, last night I was like, every day we are one step closer to something ridiculous like the handmaid's tale happening because once our system crumbles right and there's no peacekeepers and there's and we are just running amok because there's nobody to keep the law yep that's when crazy people come in and put the hammer down i'm just saying it's starting to seriously freak me out are we having a political discussion it's not a political discussion. I'm just saying how close we are to something like crazy, like the hands made tail happening. Just, you know, I have so many things I want to say right now. Just saying. I, I agree with you. And what? can I just say this as a person who is not American and is watching America from the outside that the general consensus is that something needs to change in America really quick. Well, you don't think that Americans feel that way? Because yes. here's the thing, when you're looking at it from the outside, this discussion before, it looks different to people who don't actually live here. Just yeah. like the whole reign of Obama looked different to you than it felt for me. Yeah. Right? Because you're looking from the outside, I'm living it. So it's it's completely different. So of course you can have an opinion from looking at the from the outside, but that's just what it is. Your opinion from the outside. <laughs> well, it is, but I feel like we're attached to you guys. Well, you're very close. And we are we have a uniquer perspective Canada does on the US than any other country. You don't think you think you have a more unique view than Mexico? Maybe not Mexico, I was gonna say that. Oh, okay. But say France. Right. Is what I was thinking. Or Sweden or whatever. Um, you know, I just feel like because there's we have the longest border that has been, you know, not unmilitarized for so long and you know the trade that has gone on and we've always been these great allies and doug and i were talking the other day when we were kids you know in the 60s and 70s yes i'm that old um we used to want to be american you know that was what everybody wanted um, I'm going to use some different glue on this piece. Um, America was what Ronald Reagan said, the shining beacon on a hill. It was back then because America was cool. America had the movie stars. It had all the great places. You had Florida, you know, you had Disneyland, you had all these great people there. Like it was just where you wanted to be. And as Canadians, you know, we used to cross the border every summer with my family and we'd go into America and we just thought it was the greatest thing ever. And I want America to be that again. That's, uh, what, I, that's what I want. And I'm, I'm being real diplomatic in what I say here. <laughs> I know you are. I mean, don't think for a minute that as an American, I don't think things need to change, but they've needed to change for a long time. So also your view, even of the, you know, what Reagan has to say is your view from the outside. It is, I mean, I'm going to yep. say something that's going to be very unpopular, but I'm going to say it. I do not have faith in the government. This is not a government for the people by the people. And I know that that is what we like to say. That's what we like to. Oh, promote. I agree with you 100% on that. But that is 100%. not. That is not what is happening here. So yeah, yeah things need to change, but things are not going to change here the way they need to without a revolution. And people are too comfortable to have a revolution. Well, I feel like maybe there's a revolution happening now. I don't know. 
But that's just it, though. In a revolution, people die. People get hurt. Things are going to get very ugly and uncomfortable. And then yeah. who's going to rise to the top? Is it going to be some crazy people like in The Handmaid's Tale? I hope not. <laughs> You're right, Deanna. How's the weather? Let's move. Let's move on. <laughs> and I want it noted, I did not bring that up. <laughs> I know. And you were very good. And I went there. I am sorry. <laughs> I was a good girl. Aren't you proud of me? Right now. I apologize. I'm sorry. You don't apologize for having an opinion. Never apologize for having an opinion. Yeah, but you know, that's just what it is. It's my opinion. And I don't, people should not be sharing their political opinions like that. I apologize. That was not. Hey, okay. everyone. See, now that I don't agree with. I think you should share your political opinion. Yeah. Because... Until people can share their opinions without other people jumping down their throats and arguing and name calling, nothing's going to change. So we need to have an open, honest discussion and hear what every side has to say. That's what I feel. Uh, Not judge somebody for their opinion. You can like or dislike the government or like or dislike who's in charge. That's fine. You know? But don't, you know, be mean or name call. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm a fact person. I like facts. And yeah. I like science. It's, hard. it's even hard to get the facts. It is. It, you you know, know, and I spend a lot of time trying to find out facts. Yeah. And I'm also a big science believer. So, you know, I have my views about certain things that I've seen on Facebook, we'll just say. <laughs> yes, that is Stamperia paper. What paper pad is that? Yes, it is Stamperia paper. It is House of Roses. House of Roses. I like that, etc. Etc, etc, etc. I love Stamperia paper. It's so pretty. That's all I'm going to say about that. Just stick to the facts, people. That's it. Stick We've to the facts, man. Too much. Just, just no. Stick Has anyone seen one of the new paper lines coming out? Um, are the new from Stamperia? Hi, finally crafting. Oh, that's Wonka. Hi, Wonka. We're still trying to mail your box, girl. Oh, my goodness. They won't take it. Doug's taken it like five times now. So we're going to try again the next time it goes. Goodness, that's just silly. It really, really is. Well, I like the sound of it already. It's called Princess. I haven't seen it. Really? But I feel like it should be mine. I feel like that should be yours, too. Right? That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. I don't know if I need this. I might not need that. That might be too many wings. I do like this one. If it'll stick. Let's just glue this down because it's frustrating me. No, it's probably a good thing, Misty, because we went places we should not have been. I'm going to go check it out after this live, Grace. Just be kind. That's all. <laughs> you can't be kind and have a revolution. Just me. We we'll call it a kind evolution. Mm, I'm worried. I told Chuck I was scared last Sorry. night, and I'm glad that we live in the middle of nowhere, Maine. Well, that's probably a good thing, isn't it? Yes, it's a very good thing. I'm very thankful right now for that. Yeah.
We're gonna use different glue for the metal because hot glue may not stay. What? The YouTube post on Facebook is in Italian. Does it matter? You can still see how pretty it is. There should be a translate button, Grace. Oh, Doug's upstairs and he's on the phone, so we'll hear him now. Oh, I think John's here. We will hear the doodle. And the Johnster. And the Johnster. And now they're going to talk really loud right outside my craft room window. I am making some pretty clothes pins because I love to have pretty clothes pins. I think I'm going to put magnets on the back too. To be nice. sure that's what's going to happen. That's good. I'm using my scraps, you know, because your scraps get out of hand and you just got to use them. This is great for the paper scraps. I'm not using scraps. I'm just using bits. Bits and scraps. Okay, let's have some pretty, pretty flowers. Do I like that one? I don't know. What do I like? I like those. Oh, I like those. Those look how pretty that looks together. I got big ones. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, I got big fat ones. It's like to put more stuff on them. Because I like to put more stuff. The more, the merrier. Yep. The more, the merrier. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't glue that down, but I will. I like that. These leaves are perfect for this. They're just the right size. The trim that just keeps on giving. Giving and giving and giving. Why isn't there any small little flowers in here? What's that about? What is that about? I want some small flowers. Would have been good if I had to put that behind the key. I feel like I should really do that. Yeah. There we go. Maybe like that. I don't know. Oh, I did it. Yay! Okay, let's put this back in the box. What happened to all of the cheesecloth? My desk has eaten the cheesecloth. I love cheesecloth. Cheesy McCheesecloth. Cheesy McCheesecloth. Okay. I'm going to use the gold. So, we're going to use one or two of these here ones. Because I like them. Because they're frosty. You know, I like them. Let's get a big one. Big one. Okay. 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 Let's get some of these little guys out. We like the little guys, you know. They're 
What'd she say? My mouth sneezes. <laughs> I do like flowers. Me too. I have the shoe, the shoe. I have the shoe. No, I have the Sure Bonder detailed tip. I love it. It looks terrible. Yep. It's well loved and well used. But yep, I love that's it. what I have, and it's lasted me. When did you buy this for me? Like four years ago? Seems like a long time ago. Yep. And yeah, mine looks terrible, but it's never stopped working. So. Sure, Bonder, I feel like is the way to go. That's the important thing. It's never stopped working. No. Yep. All right, I'm going to look for some metals because I think I'm going to put metals on some of these. Do it. I'm just shabbying this up like nobody's business. Like nobody's business. That's right. Nobody's business. Oh, no. I can't. Dang it. You can't what? Well, oh, can't you do, girl? Yes, it's a sure bonder. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I need to frontage and bomb oh. them, but my new heat gun hasn't come yet. Oh. So there will be none of that. But I do have a metal leaf. Yeah, I think I want a little flower on here. Let's see if these will work. No, I don't like that. I'll just stick with one. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. I like it. I think I have one in my Amazon store, but I don't have a link for that right now. Let me see if I can find it. I accidentally erased all my history on my, on my internet. No. Yeah. yeah. So it's you got accidentally. My internet was giving me troubles yesterday, so I kept doing a bunch of stuff. And one of the things I accidentally did. Oh. Gotcha. When I was trying to fix stuff. I'm getting the link for you because I'm sure that I have it on my Amazon page because I love it. Yeah, here it is. Gotcha. This your bunda. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Do oh, I want that bee there. I like the bee. Share your score fun. Okay. So I may have finished watching Project Runway. Again? Come on. You do it too fast. I'm sorry. And now I'm like, I need something to watch. So I started, like I said, watching this show called The Order. Yeah. I really am enjoying it, but I miss Project Runway. Yeah, on my Amazon page, it will only ship in the U.S., so I'm sorry. Uh-oh, that come off. Am I blurry? Of course, right? Sure, now I'm blurry.
I don't know how to fix it. Well, I'm glad that you're proud of yourself, Misty. Hey, Misty. I love it when I do that, when I make something cute. strings <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome Steve. <laughs> am i still blurry I don't find you that blurry. Not on stream, you know, I'm not blurry, but. Oh my goodness, the glue strings are taking over the world over here. Yep, there's a lot of glue strings on my box. Okay, let's put these back in the bag. Let's do it. I'll put it back in the bag upside down, but that's okay. Hi, kitten. <clears throat> All righty. Where's my gears? Oh. That's too big. Oh, they're so pretty. My goodness. It is pretty. I like it. Okay. That fell, but that's all right. We're just fitting things in now. They put I can't use your doors. I don't know, gears and pink shabby chic just go together. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I don't know. Hi, kitten. You want on my stool. Okay. She likes sitting on my footstool. I need to stickle it up. We need a little sparkle. Sparkle's good. Who don't like sparkle? My husband and it's on his face. Oh yeah, Sam would do That's that's a true fact. I'm like glitter has a mind of its own, honey. I can't help it. Yes, that is a true, true fact. Oh, I wish I had stuck that down first. So my son was not a fan of it either when he'd end up at school and have glitter on his face. They don't tend to like that. <laughs> How is little Ronnie doing? Glitter on your face and he had to be like, roll his eyes. My mom's a crafter. <laughs> I'm like, that makes you look cool, son. He's like, nope, I don't think it does. It probably doesn't to teenagers. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, the strings, the strings. So many, many strings. So, oh, so many strings. Yes, we want that one there. Um, yes, Misty, what are you making? That's so stinking cute. I want to know. Yes, what is she making? Oh, yes, and I want some of these. Some of these and some of these. Some of these and some of these. Yes, ma'am. A very short nap you had there, Angie. Oh, Angie back. Welcome. Back. Topper snippet. I'm intrigued. What happened? Misty is making a glue topper snippet. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what that meant. I know what a snippet is, and I know what a glue topper is, so I'm just going to assume it's something really amazing. I mean, where? why is there another mosquito in here? Oh. I got him. You did. Yeah. You did. Um, I, I just don't know, but, I mean, my glue looks like this. I don't want to put, like, pretty things on it. What? Oh no, I want, I need one of those small ones that you plug into the, <sighs> look, this is the state of the glossy accents. It needs a cute topper. You know, the one that has the needle that you stick down in the tip? I guess, but you know, my glues are all messy. So I just, mm, I can't see it for me. I'm excited about it. It doesn't mean it shouldn't be a thing. It just, for me, I just, you know. Oh. What's an e bag? I don't know what that is. A what? She said, I have to get a couple style of e bags. Or does that mean beads? <laughs> that you typo. I guess it could be beads. <laughs> oh yes, it's beads. Yes, okay. Too, Angie. I agree with that as well. Yeah, funny. Oh, I do. I I have glue. It could use a cute topper for sure. And I just love them. They're little. I got them at the dollar store. They're little, like faceted diamondy bead things and they look really pretty look at can you see it there that's pretty yeah i love them and i put one in my flower i think they're nice and the whole thing was like a buck 25 i think that's really nice yeah yeah girl it good all right, I gotta make sure I have all the pictures for this tutorial. <laughs> for this vlog. Do your tutorial? Tutorial. Do your tutorial, girl. I wish there wasn't glue strings all over the place on here. Yes, that's where I did that. I, I did that. It. Yes, and that. Mm -hmm. Layer, 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 layer. Yes, then stickles. Yes, yes, I did. I just gotta add the magnet and then blog post. Air try again. No, I'm not making dangles today. I was gonna dangle charms off if I had the right metals, but I can't emboss my metals because I broke my heat gun. The new heat gun isn't here. So, no. But these are pretty. And how pretty, like, clip to when people place orders in my shop, and I'll clip it 
to the bag. So it's like a bonus gift because you get a cute magnet. Yes to that. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So much strings. Glue strings stuck to me. Glue strings stuck to everything. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I thought you saw them already. My bad. They're clothes pins. Clothes pins with pretties all over them. Nice. Abril, are you crafting today? Sweet lady. Thank you, Grace. <clears throat> the inside of my box is just pink. I may paper the inside. I don't know though. Oh, come on. It's stuck. Oh. That is a very adorable box, lady. You like? I like. I need to cut that. I like too. It's a pretty pink. And the color I used is the Deco Art Americana called Blush Pink. If anybody wants to know the color, there's so many glue strings. Holy cow. Oh, how precious. I wish my grandbaby was still asleep next to me, man. Yeah, that's awesome. You're so sweet, Grace. I'm finished whenever you are, sweetie. Okay, so we won't be we won't be live on my channel tomorrow. I have an appointment, and I started my summer job, so I don't think I'm going to be able to go live on Wednesdays. We'll see, except the week that we're having the sale, which hopefully is that first full week in July. Yeah, we can do that. I'll be ready by then. All right, let me just check the calendar. I'll be ready. July. So 7th and the 8th, we plan on having sales on the 7th and the 8th of July. And this will be available. Oh my God, you're going to sell that amazing box. I'm excited. Yep. I'm excited. Along with a few other things. Yeah, I got some stuff, y'all. I got some stuff. Thank well, you. the thing we made last week, I'm going to sell, but I also made this the other day, too. So. Um, so that will be available as well. It is a canvas. Hopefully you can see it. Yes, it's gorgeous. It has all this pretty stuff at the bottom. And then it has one of my handmade metal um, embellishments that Amy and I made. Yay, I love how those turned out. Fabric covered buttons I made. I love, love, love this image. I just love her. I really love this color palette of dusty pink and ecru and ivory and white together. I just think it looks so pretty. Yes, me too. I'm about that. Yeah. Thank you, Abril. Hopefully, um, after, you know, 
um, in the fall, I can start going live on Wednesdays again. It's just, this job takes so much out of me. So I'm just gonna click on me for a second. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's beautiful. And my messy desk. And there is my box with the beautiful paper. And then there's the front. And I'm just gonna put some felt on the bottom. There's my $2 <laughs> price tag from the thrift store. But this would be really pretty to store your vintage laces in. It's a nice deep box. It's gorgeous. Good night, Grace. Oh, good night, Grace. So that's what I made. It's all done. Very, very Let good. me click over on Amy. She can show you her beautiful clothespins. They are sweetness. Oh, they're so pretty. Those leaves are perfect for right. those. I love the leaves. Love, love, love the leaves. Now, are you going to have some of these at the sale, Amy? I don't know about that. Okay. Oh, thanks, Abril. And then we'll go back to the sale. I'm going to be having some vintage goodies. There will be um, vintage slides. I'm just waiting for my husband to sort through them. But uh, there's a lot of them. So, you know, I can't see why he would keep all of them. But Thanks, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. And um, so we'll be back next Tuesday at 11 a.m. And then the sale is the 7th and the 8th, you said? I think that's right. I'm not looking at my calendar right now, but that sounds right. I think it's the 7th and the 8th of July, and there'll be all kinds of great stuff up for grabs. And it will be at our usual um, going live time, which is 11 on Tuesdays and noon on Wednesdays. Um, so Amy won't be live tomorrow, um, but she does have lots of great videos on her channel. Thank you for saying so. It's true, girl. I love them. Aww. And I know she'll be putting up a DT um, box for Angel Dream Crafts very soon. Oh, yes. Yes to that. And please stop by my Etsy. I have new things in the last couple of days, and I'm going to be having more in the next few days. I have lots of really cool stuff coming, including the little clay flowers that everybody's been looking for. We're going to carry them very soon. So many beautiful things going on over there. Yep. Lots of laces and bling. And yeah, there's more bling coming. And that'll be here in a few days. So yeah, lots of great stuff. So stay tuned for that. And that's it for today. And thank you all for coming. And thank you to my mods for being awesome. Yes, thank they you are. To all of you for being awesome. Because you're all awesome. And we will see you soon, guys. See you next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Bye, guys. Bye. Maybe. <laughs>